Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ALT. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame and has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from the price perspective, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some areas of support and then we can talk levels of resistance. So the first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. And we say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up here above the $4.25 mark. Now don't get me wrong, if the price falls below $4.25, I'm not saying the entire chart's destroyed or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that level, that would certainly be a huge sign of strength going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from more so the big picture point of view, that is where the purple line here comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. As time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How are you gonna best visualize that? Uh, you know, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 425 would be great, but from the big picture, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about areas of resistance? As far as where sellers are residing, initial level seems to be right here around the $5 mark. If the price can push up through five, then you have another little stubborn one right there at about $5.45. And then after that, it's essentially clear skies up until that $6 mark. However, kind of pointless right now to be talking about doing battle with six until the price can first prove itself in the near term. Again, prove itself, quote unquote, being quantified as getting back above the $5 mark and then $5.45. All in all though, anyway, look at it. Crazy movement today, great volume, not just a question of can the bulls and can the price start to build upon this momentum going forward. We'll see how that closes out the week on Friday. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.